Hey, it's Greg from Scholar Farms, and today we are down in not-so-sunny San Diego. It's a little bit overcast today, uh, but we're here at Slant Range, and we're talking about drones and plants like we always do. Uh, but in this case, we're going to talk about the 3PX sensor from Slant Range. And we have Matt here. Matt, tell us a little bit about your role here at the company and um, a little bit about 3P and who the target customer is. Sure. So I'm uh, Matt Berry. I'm Director of Strategic Development here at Slant Range. And what does that mean? Well, I uh, run the sales and marketing here as well as a lot of the BD and strategy initiatives we've got going on. Uh, happy to have Greg here today and share a little bit about the, the 3PX. Uh, so this is our latest sensor. Uh, we developed this uh, in partnership with DJI. <clears throat> so as you can see here, it's uh, you know custom developed for the Matrice 200 series. This is a Matrice 200. Uh, works well on the uh, Matrice 210 and the 210 RTK as well. But what we've done here is utilize their new uh, payload SDK, they call it. So it's a, a set of tools they put out to allow third-party payload developers like us to develop these payloads and put them onto their platforms and basically treat them as, as native DJI cameras. So it's getting power and, and also you can communicate uh, with the drone itself. What kind of communication is happening through the drone? That's right. So there is a basically a, a low bandwidth and a high bandwidth channel. Um, we have the hooks in place for both, but right now we're using the, the low bandwidth channel, which is basically um, health and status messages, configuration, image counts, GPS status. So basically all types of information about the status of the sensor, both pre-flight and during flight, so that you know the sensor set up correctly, you're getting the data you want. Uh, we do actually have real-time measurements coming down from the sunlight sensors. So if sunlight conditions change, you'll know that in real time as you're flying. Uh, so basically just kind of this real-time information and, and access to the sensor while you're flying. Yeah, so it, it, great to have like a fully integrated solution. And I think it, you know, the, one of the struggles for plant mapping in the past has been kind of rigging the sensors together and triggering the sensor independent from the drone and trying to get it to match up. And uh, those days are quickly coming to an end. So thinking about uh, the data that's coming off of this platform. Um, so typically it's a four band sensor. So that's you're right. getting red, green, red edge, and near infrared. That's right. And then thinking about analytics. Um, so what are some of the analytics? analytics that Slant Range provides that make you unique in terms of an offering? Sure. So our, our software platform is called Slant View. Uh, so it's uh, tightly coupled with our sensor architecture. But uh, in terms of the workflow, uh, you mount the sensor like this, of course, plan your mission. And once you land, you pop the SD card out of the sensor here, put it into a laptop and run our analytics, uh, again, called Slant View. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, that all runs completely offline, uh, so it's not a cloud-based system. It all runs offline, and most data sets are processed in, say, 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, but we are taking advantage of, number one, the very high-resolution data that we're achieving with this sensor, and then, of course, the multispectral data to do things like uh, counting plants, identifying weeds, looking at stress conditions, looking at what's called vegetation fraction in the field, so kind of a, an estimate of biomass in the field, uh, so a whole host of data products that we feel uh, really provide new value and, again, that, that you can really only get from this type of data uh, that's very high-resolution spectral data. Yeah, so I've been down here uh, all day hanging out, and one thing that I found is unique about the offering is really that speed of processing and then some of the analytic tools uh, that are available to really, you know, instead of just saying, here's a map and how do I interpret different shades and different colors, there, there's some pretty in interesting export tools that you can add to a report as a service provider or as a, br a grower or as a commercial enterprise. Uh, so I was super interested to learn about these different offerings. I'm going to be applying them in our master class here for Scholar Farms. And I really appreciate your time and thanks for having me down. Thanks very much. Yeah, thanks for coming. All right, Greg with ScholarFarms.com and we'll talk to you again soon. Mm -hmm.